Hello everybody, my name is Tudus Blood. Welcome back to another Game of Library video. This time around, it's the PS3. Uh, which I, now that I pull them all out, I don't really have a whole lot of PS3 games anymore. Uh, that's kind of, actually kind of sad. Um, I don't really remember getting a whole lot of games for the PS3 now that I think about it. Uh, if I did, I got rid of them. I don't remember. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> let's get the, uh, oh boy, yeah. Let's get, let's get it on the way. So, first, well, I already showed it. So, first is gonna be SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Uh, this, I did have this on the Wii, now that I pulled it out. Um, and I just did the Wii video, uh, the Wii library video. I did have this on the Wii, um, uh, yeah, and then when I found that this was a thing, and I don't remember if I, I don't remember how much longer after I got the Wii version that I got a PS3, and then when I found out it was ported to PS3, and then that's how you got the the, uh, the NXT and Nexus DLC. And then just like it was just much better overall on the um, on the PS3. I'm like, oh yeah, I really need this. So SmackDown vs Raw 2011, good title overall, I think. Um, I had to go back and play it. I really don't remember. And then the next one, WWE 12, the camera is focusing on Orton. Um, yep, again, another wrestling game. I don't know what else to say. It's wrestling. And then uh, WWE 13 with CM Punk on the cover. I think it's a. These are pretty much like the same thing over and over again, but it wasn't until um, 2K got a hold of the game. This is actually the alternate cover. The real cover is, um, oh, The Rock. That's right. The real version is The Rock. Why do I still have this receipt? Is it because it has, oh, Warrior's Code. The Warrior was the uh, pre-order. The Rock was on the cover of 2K14, but I, at the time, got really tired of The Rock, so I put the alternate cover on with Daniel Bryan. So. And this one's also signed by Big E, I think it's backwards. Um, in the camera, I got Big E to sign this when he came, when WWE came to town, whatever year it was. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next would be the one that everybody knows. Skyrim, except I got the alternate, not really alternate cover, but it's like, what would be in, in here, like there's the PS3 and the cover, so I just slipped the art around, so I got something different. I did that for quite a few of my games, I know I did that for um, Spider-Man, and it makes sense anyway, because it still has like Spider-Man on the cover, or the spine, so. Yeah, sunk a lot of hours into Skyrim on the PS3. Uh, yeah, I don't know really what else to say. It's Skyrim. People lose themselves in it, and I was one of them. So many, many hours in different playthroughs, which may or may not have full, fully come to completion. <laughs> um, next, I'll do uh, Call of Duty. Black Ops 2, which is actually my first Call of Duty game. Because um, at the time, a lot of my friends were playing... Well, I, I met a lot of friends when I was when we played GTA Online on the PS3, which I have digitally. I don't have a physical copy of it. Um, and a lot of people were just playing Call of Duty when we weren't playing GTA, and I just pulled... A lot of my friends saying, which game is it that you, or which 
which Call of Duty game do you play the most? Or just like however I phrase it, like which Call of Duty game is best or whatever. Um, or do you have, and a lot of people have said Black Ops 2. So I got Black Ops 2. I think for being, I think for this being like a starting point in the Call of Duty franchise for me, I think it's a good start and a good foundation. Um, to the, I, I think it was a good entry into the franchise for new players. I'll be honest. And then this happened. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love Advanced Warfare. I don't care what anybody says. I know a lot of people shit on it. I loved Advanced Warfare. Like it feels so natural to me. I don't know why. Um, you can check out my Let's Play here. Uh, I, I did for Advanced Warfare on PS4. Uh, yeah, uh, and the only reason I still have Advanced Warfare on PS3 is because it's the Day Zero Edition, which was like the day before it actually came out, so I still have it. Um, I'm trying to like, get a good look at the guy on the cover, but, yeah, Advanced Warfare was a thing. Um, it was a thing, uh, a lot of really split the community up, I believe, and Infinite Warfare didn't make it that much better. Um, Black Ops 3 was kind of a mix, I think, but whatever. I like Advanced Warfare, so that's all that matters. And then next, and last, well, kind of, um, is this. The Rockstar Games Collection. I'm trying to remember where I found it. I think I found it at Target. Of course, there's no sticker on it. Um, I think I found this at Target. I think there might be a second Rockstar Games collection, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which, I don't know what games are in that. I think there's at least a second one. I don't think there's a third one. But this uh, whole collection has uh, GTA 4, Episodes from Liberty City, L.A. Noir, Midnight Club, Los Angeles, and Red Dead Redemption. I think the only selling point for me was Red Dead Redemption, which I'll just pull it out here. Um, I'll just go through them all. I did not play, there's Midnight Club. I did not actually play um, I didn't play Midnight Club. It never had any interest to me. This just a racing game. Um, yeah, the only selling point for me was Red Dead Redemption. And then, as I mentioned in the Wii video, L.A. Noir, which I didn't play because I, I, I didn't know anything about it and I didn't care. Um, but I have it on the Switch, so I've played it. And then. Uh, Episodes from Liberty City, GTA 4. I did try and play um, Lost in the Damned, but from what I've seen, like the controls, well not the controls, but like how vehicles work in GTA 4 is nothing like 5. Um, like, the, like the cars are so slippery to control. Um, and like even then, I'm just like driving a motorcycle and I'm like fishtailing basically, and it was so annoying. Uh, I never did finish it. I, was, I probably played like maybe like 20 minutes of it, and I'm just like, I can't play this. I didn't play Gay Tony, but I just started Lost and Damned, and I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. Controls are really weird, so I quit playing it. And the only game I played out of here is just Red Dead because it's Red Dead, and it's, it's a good story. The online is crap as of this recording. Um, uh, not a big update, like three gigabyte update came out for Red Dead Online on Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I'll try it out. I, I would put more hours into Red Dead 2 online, um, but it's so broken, like, that's basically what it narrows down to. It's so broken, and um, I can't play it. 
I guess it just bugs the living hell out of me that I'm trying to do free roam missions. Um, and then it'll do like the black cinematic bar, like, you know, um, and it'll be like acting like it's going to give you a mission and then it actually doesn't, then you can't do anything else. Like interactions with the world. So then you got to jump to a different lobby and hope that it works again and more often than not it doesn't. But in this update, what do they say? 400 bug fixes. So I hope that's true and maybe it's playable now. Um, yeah. Yeah, right in the option. Um, I hope, I don't know if I've talked about it before, um, in different videos. If I did, I don't know. I apologize if I'm suddenly a broken record at this point. Um, I am thinking of getting an Xbox One. Um, the only reason is to play backwards compatible so I can play games like... <laughs> GTA 4. Uh, I don't know, I think Mass Effect is on that list of backwards compatible games. And then I could play... I could play Black Ops 2. Um, just like a lot of games that I have on the 3, on the PS3, I would... I could play them on the Xbox One. Uh, since PS4, PlayStation doesn't have backwards compatibility. Uh, it's rumored at this point that the 5 will. But as far as I know, from what I've seen, it's only gonna... Like, the technology is gonna be only have it read PS4 and nothing earlier from what I understand but then PlayStation also has PlayStation now which it's like you just stream everything or you download some stuff I don't know I never played it I never tried it and from what I understand it's just hot garbage PlayStation now so that'd be the only reason I'm I'm thinking of getting an Xbox one is just to play backwards compatible games and I know it few years ago I saw something from IGN I think that that's what most Xbox One owners do is they just play backwards compatible they don't play new games but times have changed since then so who knows but yeah because then otherwise I could play Red Dead Redemption 1 again on the on the Xbox One anytime so yeah so anyway, that's it for my PS3 library video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay tuned with more videos like this and future content and let's plays. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Otherwise, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'm going way too fast my brain can handle. Thank you everybody so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.